Jones and Dagger, so today we're going to talk about some artist problems. And may onting rant ako dito, but don't take it too seriously. So let's roll the time lapse to begin the artist problems. First of all, I always want to say in every video that everything I will say is just my humble opinion. I will not be always right so I can be wrong. Our topic for this video is artist problems. Number one artist problem is asking for free. Kapag nalaman na artist ka or marunong ka mag-drawing, ang sunod na sasabihin ay i-drawing mo naman ako. At kapag sasabihin mo may bayad, yung iba, hihindi na. Bakit mo naman iisipin na libre? Una sa lahat, hindi libre yung art materials at medyo may kamahalan. Yung mahabang oras na ginugugol namin para mag-drawing. Yung iba kapag nalaman na may bayad, lalaitin pa yung works mo kasi hindi na pagbigyan. Meron pa nga ilalike yung DP, post mo, like almost everything. Tapos ime-message ka na pa-drawing ng DP ko. Never ask for free unless yung artist magpa-free portrait for promotion or for their practice or for volunteer for a good cause. Also, artists give an art as a gift. Or kapag nagpa-drawing si Crash, charot. <laughs> Number two artist problem is bargain. Yung iba babarating ka like half the price or less. Sila pa yung todo ang demand at parash. Kapag alam mong babarating kayo o magpapalibre ng gawa at kung ayaw yung gawin, just say no in a very nice way. Hindi sa nakikipagplastikan ka but manners yun. Number three artist problem is scammer. Client na nagpa-drawing pero hindi na daw nila kukunin o di na nila babayaran. Lagi ko tong nakikita sa other artists pero never ko pang na-experience. If ever na may magpapagawa sa inyo guys, make sure na mag-down payment for security. Kahit nakakilala nyo or what, mag-down payment for insurance na kukunin yung finished product. Number 4 artist problem is pasmadong kamay. Para sa mga pasmado at isa na ako doon, pero fortunately, yung kamay ko hindi nanginginig, nagpapawis lang. Kapag pasmado ka, basang-basa yung papel kapag nagdo-drawing or kahit nagsusulat ka. Kaya dapat lagi may nakapatong na papel sa dinodrawingan mo o kaya pa nyo. I suggest na patungan nyo ng tracing paper para makita nyo pa rin yung dinodrawing nyo. Alam ko pwede yung gloves, kaso hindi ko masyadong ginagawa kasi hindi ako komportable. Hindi na mamawas yung kamay ko kapag gabi, kaya palaging gabi ako nagdo-drawing. May napanood ako dati na gamot na ini-inject sa kamay para hindi maging pasmado. Nakalimutan ko na yung tawag sa treatment pero di ko pa natatry. Ang natry ko lang yung parang sabi-sabi lang. Sinabi lang sa akin na ihian daw yung kamay. <laughs> And tinaray ko siya pero <laughs> di effective lang yan. <laughs> Number 5 artist problem is basher. Like for example, kapag dinrowin mo yung favorite artist mo, and then may magsasabing hindi ka muka or pangit or nakaasar I remember na first time ako magpost sa Facebook and ang sabi ng friend ko kumuka daw ni Chucky honestly medyo nakakahurt but I still keep going don't take it too hard keep practicing remember why I started to draw because it is fun so draw paint, do it. At may magsasabi hindi nila gusto yung art mo or whatsoever. For me, I paint to express not to impress them or for likes. It is also a creative way to overcome depression. So don't mind them. Number 6 artist problem is kapag pinupuri ka. This is not a totally problem at all. I really don't know what to say besides thank you and smile sometimes. Really a great feeling that someone truly appreciates what I am doing but sometimes yun nga, medyo nakakahiya. Lalo na kapag yun lang talaga yung topic, I usually change the topic kapag thank you na lang talaga yung nasasagot ko. Lalo na sa messenger, buti may emoticon. Number 7 artist problem is Kala Modus Ka. Yung sa tagal mong tumingin sa National Bookstore, paikot-ikot ka lang at kung ano-ano hinahanap, tas mapapansin mo na lang si Manong Guard. Is sinusundan ka na kasi akala modus ka, shoplifter, magnanakaw, mga ganyan. Kaya medyo magpapanik o maiilang ka, kaya aalis ka na lang. Number 8 artist problem is nawawalang gamit. Yung biglang mawawala yung kakagamit mo lang kanina, lalo-lalo na yung lapis at pambura. Kaya as much as possible, binabalik ko kaagad sa pwesto pagkatapos kong gamitin. Pero minsan, di ko na talaga maalala kung saan ko nailapag. Number 9 artist problem is ang dumi. Literal na madumi ka, paint all over your clothes, furniture, sa kamay, sa muka. Pero okay lang na madumihan ang lahat. Basta importante, huwag madumihan yung dinodrawing mo. Number 10 artist problem is cleaning. This is a follow-up. Pagkatapos mo mag-paint, ito yung pinaka-ayoko din part, ang paglilinis. Kailangan ko talaga maligo kasi after mag-paint, 
ang dumi ko, ang daming paint sa katawan. And then, lilinisin yung brush, lalo na oil paint yung gamit ko. Ang hirap. <laughs> Number 11 artist problem is, pag may nakatingin habang nagdo-drawing ka. I really don't like to draw while someone is watching me. Even when I am teaching someone, I just draw less. I mean, not what I usually do. Yung medyo hindi maganda, medyo nakakailang kahit na nakatayo lang sila sa likod ko. Number 12 artist problem is art block. It's the worst thing for an artist to ever encounter. It's when you run out of ideas to draw things off and temporarily lose all motivation to do anything art-related from Urban Dictionary. May nakita kong quotes na about sa art block from Lee Hammond and sabi niya, There is never a lack of subject matter, just absence of creativity. For me, this is very true. When I was starting, I have so many ideas. I have a lot to paint in my mind, sketches, and then suddenly, it is all gone. But I don't always wait for inspiration to come because what if the inspirations don't come at all and then you will be stuck forever. When I'm in this space, I watch movies, listen to music, go out just to do something and start all over again. Regarding sa painting ko with a title, Releasing My Collected Sadness, A Girl Crying, Wala Na Siyang Eyes, Puro Luha Na Lang, I really can't remember the last time na umiyak ako. Ewan ko, basta natanong ko na lang sa sarili ko na kailan ba yung huling iyak ko. Then, I was watching Grave of the Fireflies. At first, ayokong panoorin kasi barilan, mga ganon. Listed siya sa best anime movie kasama yung Spirited Away, House Moving Castle, Totoro, mga ganon. E mga favorite ko yung mga yun. Kaya na-curious ako at pinanood ko. And yun. <laughs> Ayoko masyado ikuhinto kasi baka ma-spoil kayo eh. Basta nakakaiyak. Tapos yun nga, naiyak ako. And after nung iyak ko, medyo magaan na sa pakiramdam. I don't know, wala naman akong ganun kabigat na dinadalang problema. Pero, ang sarap lang sa feeling na finally nailabas mo. Kung may mga alam pa kayong artist problems na hindi ko nabanggit, comment down below or your favorite movie, let me know. Like this video, subscribe to my channel, share this video, especially to your friends na alam nyo makakarelate dito. See you on my next video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Bye!